I would come home from work and literally the kitchen table would be full and he would say to me, decide tonight what you're keeping and what you're not because it's going tomorrow. So every night I would come home after work and I would have to choose what am I going to keep? What are we going to get rid of? We are Gay and Robert. Five years ago, we quit our jobs, sold our house and all of our possessions and began living the dream of traveling the world with only backpacks on our backs. After flying over 300,000 miles and visiting 82 countries, COVID brought us to a screeching halt. True to our fashion, we improvised and bought a brand new van and built it out in just six weeks to explore the United States until international travel opens up. Hey everyone, we thought we would do a video on why we have chosen the, the nomadic lifestyle. People ask us all the time and ever since we've been doing this, it's going on almost six years, is well, why we decided to do it. Yeah, and it's it's like, but why not? And, and it feels so natural now that it's kind of like, why did you decide to stay in a house? How did you become stay? And I'm joking, of course, but that's how it feels. It's kind of like, uh, no, there's no choice. Yeah, I agree. It's a very interesting question when you get that and we have answered that often throughout the years and so we decided that we would tell you why. And we love answering it. I mean, it's it's fantastic because it is um, an alternative lifestyle that people don't know about and for us, it's fairly natural. It just, it just works. We've been doing it just over five years and really have no plans on changing but to kind of start it was and I'll start first it was more when I was just a little kid we did a lot of traveling around the United States and I just had that uh, desire to live without an address and um, my best friends uh, two of them we would sit around and talk about not having an address and this is when we we're 10 years old and so you actually when you were younger you told me the story that you wanted to be a truck driver so you could see the United States right just to be free <laughs> I wanted to be a truck driver and uh, my, my, one of my best friends Danny remembers us having that discussion when we were little tykes about being free so yeah i wanted to be a truck driver because that's the same as what i'm doing you have freedom and it, it, i understand it's not totally true but but the concept is there and of course i was a programmer in in an office so <laughs> <laughs> little bit different yeah. of a <laughs> occupation the interesting thing though for me however is i never traveled as a kid i mean the Furthest we went from Wisconsin was Michigan to Mackinac Island. And that's it. Oh, and, and to an amusement park in Gurney, Illinois. We had never traveled at all. Yeah, for me though, it was, we did travel a lot, but it, you know, just uh, during the um, summer vacations, but we did San Francisco and Disney World and a number of different places, New York City, blah, blah, blah. So we did uh, travel and I just got the bug and it just wouldn't go away. So we always traveled no matter what and we traveled together um, before we had children and we actually traveled with his parents together um, often on weekend trips and uh, trips to Florida and Disney stuff World, yeah. and Disney World and so he slowly introduced it to me. Well, I shouldn't say slowly. He introduced it to me and even when we had a house we were always gone on the weekends. We were always off driving somewhere, doing something, whether it be a craft show or a festival or a fair. If we could get there by car on a weekend, we were always doing that as well. And that was before, you know, so early on, we only had a couple of weeks vacation because that's what it's like in the US. And, uh, um, but like Kay said, we were always traveling. And then at some point uh, we decided to buy the cottage and the cottage was two and a half miles, or sorry, two and a half hours from here. And so every weekend we would go there mm -hmm. and we would spend our, all our summers there. I worked um, remotely basically, you know, for myself. And so I could be up there with the boys and then uh, Gay would go back and forth depending on work. I actually also went part-time about 10 years prior to actually retiring. So we could travel more and we could enjoy the cottage and we could enjoy the boys. Um, more and be a part of their lives and so we made that decision early on right and you know that was a big decision because it freed us up to travel quite a bit that was kind of where we it's like it's been going on for a long time 
um, more so in my head because I had it since I was a tyke, um, but I've been itching. So then our, our youngest um, boy was, son, was in uh, um, high school and we got the house ready to go. I work out of the house, so I'm selling stuff. We're down to minimal stuff. I would come home from work and literally the kitchen table would be full and he would say to me, decide tonight what you're keeping and what you're not because it's going tomorrow. So every night I would come home after work and I would have to choose what am I going to keep? What are we going to get rid of? And so Well, everything was going within a few months anyway, so it didn't matter. But, but and Gay's very good at it. We didn't have a lot of stuff as far as we didn't like accumulating stuff. But, oh, it took a long time to sell. It sold six months before our son graduated from high school. So It's like, Aaron, what are you going to do? Um, <laughs> there's no basement to come home to. There will never be a basement. There's not even a house for you to go <laughs> there's to. There's not so. even a house. So... He lived in between our other motor home that we had, our grandparents, and then we actually moved downtown to student housing on State Street, which was extremely close to my work, and then I could bike, and so that was the start of it all. Yeah, and so we moved from kind of the country um, a little bit, we were in a small subdivision, to downtown Madison, where we're from, and in, in a really nice student housing. But anyway, that to me was the first a taste of freedom and oh I loved it I just loved it even though we were not traveling we were someplace new we we're right in the hustle and bustle of Madison music whatever so that was our first taste and then you know, just took off from there and so that is our story and ever since then we have done 82 countries all of the states in the United States Endless yeah. mi miles on airplanes, trains, buses, tuk-tuks, motorcycles. I mean, we were booked out a year when COVID hit, so we are looking forward to getting back to that. It's going to be a little bit, and it's okay. We love the van. It's slowly happening. Love We've got Sidori. some things scheduled out. If you look at um, some other videos that we have put out there, we do have our next upcoming trips that are planned within the next six months. So check that one out. You know, and one thing that I love, and I'll talk about this in a different video, and I've talked about this in the budgets, is I love this life because of the variable expenses that you can have. So if you guys have any, uh, any other questions about our lifestyle, um, please ask us questions, leave them in the comments below. We love the interaction that we are getting now that we have over a thousand subscribers. So we are enjoying that immensely. And remember, we just started this video just to enhance our travels and for me to give me something creative and purposeful to do. And we didn't think it would end up being where it's at right now. So, well, and we want the interaction because. We're not only van life, and so even though we love the international travel, we love the van. We talk to people almost daily regarding the van and how freedom and the you know the BLM land out west and all that stuff and the Sea Dory the same thing. We love we 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 don't think of ourselves as boaters, but we went on the inside passage to Alaska. We went across Lake Michigan. So meaning all these things are important to us. But uh, we like the variety and we like the change. And so we like talking about it all. Yeah. You know, not only van, not only Sea Dory, not only international travel, uh, budgeting, everything to do with this lifestyle. And again, this, I mean, we have a thousand subscribers, awesome. But no, you know, we're not going to have a million subscribers. You know, that's not the purpose. No. So it's just, it's kind of, it's been fun actually. Yeah, so. it has really been fun to watch the channel grow and me to get more creative. I, I plan on taking more classes too because I enjoy making the videos and I want to add some spice to them. But simply put, this is where we started, why we are here and why we're here where we're at. Yeah. Did I say that right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, leave your comments, and hit the subscribe button. We will see you in the next video. I'll see you guys. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boys.